Make it long. Make the, the a long ladies, story longer. The members of the congregation uh, knew that I drove limousines, but she worked for the advertising company that uh, needed him to do a... Uh, uh, needed who for the story? We need Cal, you... Cal Ripken. Okay. As a, not a spokesperson, but he had to take these to an advertisement for whatever product. I can't remember. But I, ended, I know that he ended up getting dunked in water. I think in like a pool in this studio, which is down in Cold Spring in uh, the Alameda. Um, and uh, so she calls me up and she says, Bill, Bill, are you still in the business of driving for the limousine company? I Come said, on, oh, sure. She says, well, do you think, uh, uh, she said, do you own the company? I said, no. I said, she said, well, call your owner and see if it would be all right if you, you could drive Cal Ripken to this advertisement shoot. Oh, okay. And it was uh, February the 14th. And I think it was uh, 90. Come on, Pepper. Three or four, 93 or 94. He was still playing then, but. Uh, I don't remember if he was or not. Yeah, he was still playing then. I guess he was. Yeah, yeah he didn't break the record, I think, till 95, I think. Well, that's right. <coughs> that's right. So he was still playing, but it was February, so it was off season. Okay. And uh, of course, it was Valentine's Day. Watch so. And. Uh, um, so I, I wake up, of course, early that morning with the limousine at the house. So I go out and get him and uh, stop, bought some newspapers, bought some coffees, and all that stuff. And, and what else did you bring? Oh, oh, that's right. And when, when she said, hey, you get to drive Cal Ripley, I was thinking, oh, okay. Uh, I didn't ask any more questions. I went out to Back Rack Raisin. Back Rack Raisin is a sporting place that has yeah, yeah, all the good that. stuff. Yeah. You pay a little bit more for it, but it's uh, well worth it. And... Uh, um, Amen. Yeah. Amen, Pepper. Okay, come on, girl. That's a good girl. And um, so I bought uh, Major League Baseball, okay. American Major League Baseball, oh, okay. and, and a, a Cal Ripken. How many ball. baseballs and how many bats? I probably had about five or six baseballs, <laughs> which of course were top dollar because you know you don't buy them in the fall. So you yeah, buy them by the box, and, and they're the, the real ones that they use in the in the games. So. Um, How many bats? And one Cal Ripken bat. It was a, a Louisville Slugger, fire, fire branded or whatever they called it, with his autograph in it, you know, Cal Ripken Jr. Uh -huh. So I lugged that along with me. Uh, went to pick him up. Um, good morning, Mr. Ripken. All that stuff. You know, he had a gated driveway and I had to push the button. They knew I was coming. Uh, so I pick him up and the first thing he tells me is, he says, you know, you know about the turn down here? I said, yes, Mr. Ripken. I've been out here. Yeah. practically my whole life so I know that these turns come real quick so right. he's in the back mm -hmm. of course I'm in the, in the front and uh, yeah. so of course I'm all enamored that Cal Ripken's in the back seat and I'm kind of looking in the back and uh -huh. I'm saying hey well this and how are you and here's some papers for you and all that stuff and here come the turns uh, well he knew I was going to miss them because yeah. he knows everybody's all yeah. flabbergasted they got Cal Ripken in the back seat. <laughs> right. yeah. and, uh, hey hold on a minute just Stay, stay in the shade a minute here. Go ahead, go ahead. You want to sit down? No. And uh, so, sit on the bench or no? Oh, no. This is good. And, and um, so we go zipping around these turns, and he's, I could see he was already, he knew I was going to miss the turns. So uh -huh. Next thing I know, you know, Cal Ripken isn't flip flopping in the back. Uh, he knew I was going to yeah. miss it. So yeah. he didn't, no, no coffee spills or anything. But yeah. of course, I was. So we drive downtown. I drop, I get to the, uh, the studio where the, the advertisement shoot's going to be, and I said, Mr. Ripken, uh, could I get a, a couple of autographs? Oh, sure, and all that stuff. He says, what do you have? I said, I have a few baseballs. So said, okay, that's no problem, and I pen or whatever. And yeah. So he signed them all, and he said, you know, turn off the engine, try not to move, because he's in the back, and oh, if yeah. you're moving, then yeah, you he's run. trying to saw, sign an autograph, and right. he doesn't want to bug it up. Yeah. So. So he signs like four or five balls, and I said, thank you, Mr. Ripken. And, and an old buddy, actually, I just saw three days ago, he gave me some beat-up baseballs. He said, oh, Bill, you're going to be driving cover? Get these signed for us. So I got a couple of those, yeah. one of which he told me later that his dog got to uh, yeah. and chewed uh, it uh, up. Uh, you know, not really yeah. But um, so I drop him off, leave, um, come back later that afternoon, probably 4.30 or something like that to, to pick him up driving back home and uh, we, we get to his house and I asked him if he could sign a couple more balls and, and he uh, he says why sure sure why not you know 
<laughs> but his, you know, he's in his house. He wants to leave. Yeah, sure. He says, "Okay, that's it." I said, "Could I ask you one more fare?" He says, "What? What is it?" He says, "I gotta go." I said, "One more autograph?" He says, "What do you have?" I said, "A baseball bat." He says, "A baseball bat? You've been carrying that thing around the whole time?" I said, "Yes, sir, Mr. Griffin. I'd really <laughs> appreciate it if you could sign it." So I whipped out a sharpie or whatever. And uh, he signed the baseball bat that had his name on it, and you know Cal Ripken Jr. signed underneath. But I had it appraised, and the guy said, he says it's not a game bat, it's a production bat, and uh, um, and he didn't sign it in his white ink or you know something that would make it more valuable. Because I didn't. Yeah. Probably not too valuable. But it was uh, February the 14th, 1993 or four, I believe. So he called his wife in the back seat and saying. You know all this stuff. I didn't hear it, and uh, before we left, I, I asked him. I kind of pleaded with him to uh, call my nephew. I said, "Could you call my nephew for?" No, no, I'm not going to call your nephew. I said, "Really mean a lot to him." And he says, "No, no, I got to go and all that." So, you know, Corey Schaefer, my my oldest nephew, yeah. Cal Ripken was it. I mean, yeah. Yeah. and I told him later. I said, "I'm sorry, Corey. I, I almost had Cal Ripken call you, but he wouldn't do it." Yeah. So. Like, oh, you you said he. I was waiting for you to say. You told me at the time. He said, he said you're getting kind of greedy. Greedy. Well, yeah, yeah. I was getting kind of greedy with the bat. And yeah. The balls and well, you know, what the heck? How often do you make yeah, cowards? Right. Yeah, yeah, not every day. Oh, you but, can, uh, sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I didn't yeah. mean to book it. And yeah. of course, there's the story with Lauren Bacall, uh, and she signed her autograph on, on my shoulder. Oh, okay. This is down at the Larry King show. Oh, and then yeah. there was the other time with Kirk Douglas, and Kirk and I have a. You know, oh yeah, tell that pen. story. Yeah, That's yeah. good. Yeah. So I got an autograph with uh, uh, Kirk Douglas again down at uh, the Larry King, uh, or actually, it's, uh, what is it, CNN down there? Yeah. And um, so everybody's hogging around Kirk Douglas, and all this stuff, and autograph this and autograph that. And I asked, "Well, oh, Mr. Douglas, could you sign an autograph for me?" He says, "Sure." So I hand him the pen and the, uh, the autograph pad, and he and he looks at me, and I. And I grabbed the pen out of his hand and clicked it so that, yeah. the so that he wouldn't have to it. click it. So that he wouldn't have to click yeah. it. And I got this look from Kirk Douglas yeah, like, so what are you, doing, you huh? mean you think that I don't know that the pen has to be clicked? And this dirty look, and, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got I blown off by that. And then, of course, there's that famous shot by with John Smith, the famous photographer. Uh. <laughs> Great picture of Jimmy Carter with... with um, can't remember which eye. I think it was this eye. It's got a great picture of Jimmy Carter with like this much of this eye in it. Of course, uh, I asked John for a picture of me and Jimmy Carter. Of course, he gets yeah. to Jimmy Carter. Yeah. Is this so I didn't want him in the picture with Jimmy. I was trying to get close up to Jimmy. The worst one was yeah. with yeah. Rigoberta Menchu and, and all these other people that wanted pictures. All he wants is Rigoberta Menchu, who he got. But here's Bill. Eight people in the picture, and you know, one of them's Bill. That was the only time I really got him in the. To uh, get yeah. to include me, 